people, they just simply don't like you. Uh, stop getting upset when people come into contact with you. Uh, and the spirit of rejection is created uh, as a result of the relational link that you find yourself associated uh, and tied into. Uh, stop getting upset because not everybody uh, is ordained to like you, to accept you. Uh, not everybody from the foundations of the world uh, got shaped and fashioned to be into your personal environment. Uh, we're going to be some people the minute they see you. Uh, they can't stand the ground that you begin to walk on. Uh, they're going to be some people uh, the minute they recognize that there's a word in your belly. Uh, there's a shout in your heart. Uh, there's something that God has downloaded into your spirit. Uh, the minute they begin to recognize greatness and the purpose of the holy call of God. Uh, the minute they begin to identify uh, that there's something on your life. Uh, there's something that makes you different. Something that makes you unique. Uh, the minute they begin to identify uh, within themselves uh, that God is using you for glory. Uh, that God is using you for greatness. Uh, that God will use you to advance the kingdom of God uh, and to bring travesty uh, to the kingdom of darkness. Uh, they go walk away from you uh, because they can't stand uh, to see anybody else be used by God. Uh, they can't stand uh, to see victory in anybody else's life. Uh, not a self-conceited spirit. Uh, not a spirit. Uh, that as they begin uh, to feel like it's all about them, uh, they begin to feel uh, like it's all about me. It's me, 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 me. Now. There will be some people that comes into your life. Mm -hmm. Yes. They don't have the grace mm -hmm. nor the anointing yes. to encourage, That's to right. empower, and to uplift. Stop getting sad in your spirit because you've been a rejection. Now, yeah. I keep telling you all that marriage rejection of you, uh, it often leads to God's selection of you. I can't yeah. in this place. Uh, yeah. And then you got to recognize what happened to Joseph. Uh, Joseph was down in the pit. Uh, but you got to realize that between the pit and the palace, uh, there's only the transformation process. Uh, there's only the spiritual incubators that are hooked up into you. Uh, when God is getting ready to use you for glory, getting ready to use you for power, uh, getting ready to increase and intensify uh, the level of the anointing that is upon your life. Uh, between the pit and the palace, uh, is where he begins to work you up. Uh, where he begins to walk you through, talk you through. Uh, when he begins to lift you up, uh, I'm looking at one or two of you, uh, and what fool you, uh, is you've already gotten up out of the pit, uh, but the problem is you're still sojourning to the palace, uh, and so you got to deal uh, with the main time, the train time, uh, you got to deal with what's going on between the palace and the pit, uh, in other words, you're not in darkness, uh, you can see clearly because the rain has gone away, uh, but the problem is you can't identify your healing, uh, you don't understand that God is carrying you, uh, you're not totally dead, you're not totally out. But for whatever reason, you still ain't reached that place of comfort, that place of stability, that place of victory, that place of increase in prosperity. Because you're in the meantime between time. In other words, you're still on that perennial nation. Look at your neighbor today, you're journeying over here. It was a strong rider that said, 